So what kind of an effect does the Scream Bandit have on his victims? Just ask the guy who used to own the raceway on Hull Street behind me. Crime Insider sources confirm shortly after an attempted robbery and a shot fire at, fired at this business last February, the owner closed his doors and shut off the gas pumps. Dubbed the Scream Bandit by the FBI. This is a dangerous person out there walking in to, into these stores. The Fed's offering 10 grand to whoever can tell them who's behind the mask. They are a violation of the Hobbs Act, uh, which um, is uh, pertains to interstate commerce. So far, the Scream Bandit has been tied to four robberies in Chesterfield, Richmond, and Henrico. There was also one attempted robbery and one shot fired at the raceway off of Hall Street. So traumatic for the longtime owner here, he retired. Crime Insider sources say the business has been out of commission since the attempted robbery and shot last February. When you're dealing with human beings, um, very unpredictable, and sometimes there's no method to the madness, and again, until you can get in front of that person and, and speak with them and get an understanding of who and what they've been doing. So why the one-year gap, robbing some of the same stores a year later? The masked gunman putting a paralyzing grip on the small business community. The Fed's asking those who work in frequent central VA convenience stores to do their best to be vigilant. That's a lot to ask of a person that's getting robbed. Um, but what we do ask, uh, what we educate the public on, uh, people in stores, uh, bank tellers, is um, voice, uh, any unique marks, um, any unique jewelry. Any, anything that jumps out at them that is a unique descriptor. Again, the FBI saying consider that Scream Bandit to be armed and dangerous. Crime Insider sources say he has been seen leaving several of these robberies in a gold-colored sedan. Working for you in Chesterfield County, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.